Good mythical morning, you magical, sexy people, you. It is a... Got a cup of coffee here, so you know what time it is. I can literally feel... Uh, I can finally put up with stupid people. Anyway, howdy, howdy, people. How you been? How you doing? How you been? Where you been? What you at? What you been doing? I hope you've been safe and sane, especially in this day and age. Dear Lord, dear Lord, dear Lord, Lord, dear Lord, dear Lord, dear Lord. What can I say, man? Well, a lot of weird shit has gone down in the past couple of hours, and. In the lovely part of England that I live in, there's been two or three fights in town, just up the street from where I live. And there's been police and ambulances and, yeah, it's just police helicopters. All because people in another country don't know how to talk to each other. And... breaks my heart it does it breaks my heart that people just can't communicate and as I said in my live stream last night let me make this abundantly clear I am not pro-Israel I am not pro-Palestine I am not pro-Hamas I am not pro-anything I am pro-peace please understand that I want peace between Russia and Ukraine I want peace between Israel and Palestine I want peace between um, North and South Korea I want peace I just want peace I want my news feeds to be about puppies being adopted and you know cats being rescued from a tree or I just want feel good news I don't want to hear any more about war and conflict and death I I said in my live stream there's an old there's an old Japanese proverb. It is better to be a samurai in a garden than a gardener on the battlefield. And I'm a very old samurai who wants to be a gardener now. And I just want the hate to stop. I just want. I want love and peace and harmony around the world. I I genuinely just want the conflicts to stop. And I know I'm just one person. One person. One person can't do that. But I'm sure I'm not the only one that wants it. I'm sure I'm not the only one that thinks it. And if that's the case, and we all stand up, one can become a million or a billion, and we can do something about that. But, you know, what do I know? What do I know? School's going great. After I'm done recording this video, I will be going straight to class because I've got to do two. I oh know, wait. Uh, what, yeah, today's a makeup class, which means I missed out on doing some stuff the day prior. So I'm going to make up for that. Then I'm going to keep pushing on and finishing off the last of the modules that I need to do for today. Uh, so I should be done at about two o'clock. And that'll be fun. And then I'm going to treat myself. Um, I will probably play, I think I'll play a little bit of World of Tanks, 
I haven't taken my Buka, my Yagi Panzer E100 tank destroyer out in a couple of games and I don't want to get in rusty. I don't want to get in any cobwebs. Uh, plus, I'm, I've still got to record some episodes for the next upcoming uh, on track uh, videos for the uh, FE4005, the ship barn, um, or the Death Star, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so, yeah, I've got that to do uh what else have i got um just thinking uh i'll, I'll take I'll, I'll know more when i literally get into game and take a look at everything i've also got to do my dailies in a few other games that i play like warframe and uh sync so but like i said i don't i like to get my school work out the way first and then treat myself afterwards but i've also got to go into town but the weather's going to be really shit today so i'm like no mm, um, no that's good i'm fine plus we've also been going on in town i'm not gonna go um there's protests counter protests fights and yeah i'm just i'm not I'm not gonna deal with that shit I'm just not going to deal with stupid people because I'll most likely start punching both sides. Yeah, ironically, I started this video off with I want peace. And the truth is, I do. I do want peace. But uh, it's only going to come about when people willingly, not forcibly, willingly sit down at the table and talk. I forgot that one tip, one pill out of my morning meds. Yay. So, that was a chair, not me. Yeah, I've just... I haven't really been second-guessing, you know, life and all that fun stuff or whatnot. Merch is still available, by the way. So go check that out. Um, what else? Uh, moving. Uh, I am looking at moving up north to Newcastle, uh, which is a bit of ways away. It's damn near near Scotland. Um, mostly because I just can't afford to live here. I can't afford to live in, um, I can't afford to live here in this 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 place anymore. I just can't. Uh, my landlord has upped the rent again to the point where I'm not the only one who can't afford to live here anymore. Um, I think he's losing four tenants and there's five of us here. So four of us are moving out. And if he's going to charge the prices he's charging, he ain't going to find no one. And I mean that. Because I've seen places around here for about four, four fifty, four sixty, less than what I was originally paying when I first moved here. I mean, there's a two bedroom place uh, not far from here, and um, I'm waiting to hear back from the owner of the property. To see when I can arrange a uh, viewing. And uh, I actually found it on the Facebook Marketplace. Of all places, Facebook Marketplace. And uh, so, yeah, I'm. Hmm. 
Hmm. Someone's sending a bus on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> I was just like, a bus. Hmm. Interesting. So yes, I've been trying to find a property to rent. Here you go, this one's four forty for a one bed, one bath apartment. See? And it's dog and cat friendly, so I'll be able to have my, my dog. So But the problem is it just it lacks space i mean the majority of the space there is the kitchen it As a dishwasher, a washing machine. Hmm. It's it's on my saved list, so. Fully furnished, pet friendly. That's the only thing I'm looking at is it's cheaper and it's pet friendly. So. And it is closer to town than where I'm at now. So it would make going to uni for classes easier for me. And then there's this two bedroom, one bath place. But it's weird, it's like the bedroom is up in the attic. It's four eighty a month. And it's an RG one, so it's ah, okay, all right, all right. It's just around the corner from the Oracle itself. Okay. So yeah, I I I've got a rough idea of where it's at. So right now I'm I'm currently in. Whitley, which is just a ways away from, it's technically part of Reading, but it's a good 25, 30 minute walk. And so that's what I've been doing, is I've been trying to find a decent place to live, preferably two bed, uh, two bedroom. Um, reason why I say two bedroom is because that way I can turn um, one of the rooms into my bedroom, the other room into my office for work.
32. Ugh. It literally looks like it. No, that's the sort of place. No. So, so far, this little two bedroom looks looks to be pretty good. It's cheaper. So this thing, what does mean is that there's multiple listings for the same place at different prices. And so I don't know who's the original lister, what's the scam one, because this is the thing, there are, there are scam uh, 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 people out there that will scam you. No joke, there are people out there that will scam you. And they will not feel two ways about it, they will fucking scam you. And... It's like, come on, man. No. No. Two beds, one bar flat for 800. Nope. No. No. No, I'm not paying more than five. Five is the cap, and... This one at 480 is 20 pounds under the cap. So. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, there's too, too many tables. Legit, there's like a glass circle table behind some sofas in front of a really cheap crappy tv um then there's a bar stool thing by the kitchen i'm just it's too many seats so what are you doing mate it's just too many seats I do like the fact that it's a two bedroom. So now you know what I'm doing, guys. Um, school work, doing a whole bunch of other stuff, trying to find a place to live. So I like Reading. It's a nice area. It's a nice place. Lots of nice people. But finger in the air. But. My time here is done, I feel. I feel like I need to move on, you know? And as you guys know, I'm going to school for cyber security and once I've got on all of my ducks in a row and whatnot, I will be filing for the correct visas and stuff and I'm going back home to the US. I like I said, I, I'm not dying in this country. So there's that. Uh, the younger brother should be coming back today or tomorrow from his trip in Spain. My daughter and her mum are going to Malta for four or five days here in, I think, two, two or three days. They're getting on a plane and off to Malta. Uh, her mum's family is originally from Malta. So she's doing this whole soul searching thing. My daughter is anyway. She's doing this soul searching thing where she's going back to her roots. And, um, so she's going to Malta to see her family and mum's side of the family and then she wants to go to Ireland. That's where her dad's side of the family is from and whatnot. I've refused to let her go to uh, Israel, especially right now with the conflicts and stuff and she understands, she respects that. Mm. 
food. Oh dear. Coffee's gone. So the video's done. Anyway guys, like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one.